Hey guys, I'm back with another tricky and an important question that everyone gets to be asked during their interview process or after that. So no matter how good the job interview has gone, there's always this question that can stop you to get that big shot job. And that's salary expectation. Now salary expectations, my dear friends, is by far the most controversial question that you would come across. It is the most tricky question too. And you know, everyone, like everyone I've ever talked to about this has a different opinion on how you should be answering the salary expectation question. I would re-emphasize this is one of the most controversial and tricky questions of your job interview process. Obviously, you know, everybody wants to aim high. But is it okay actually to put in a specific defined range for the HR or the interviewer? Well, they could have something which is lower than what you are talking about. And they could probably also have something which is higher than what you're talking about. So, what if you ask less money? There's a possibility that the job profile they are talking about has a certain minimum range and if you ask for less money, obviously you're going to be at loss. Are you okay to get less and work more? Well, there are multiple ways by which you can answer here. We will talk them depending upon the prospective scenarios and how you can actually just go about answering this as per the situation. So basically, the situations that we will be actually analyzing are based on who is going to ask this question. Well, majorly, it is three kinds of people who may ask this question during or after or prior to starting an interview process. Well, the first one be the headhunter or the ex or the external consultant company that would actually bring you the opportunity. Then the second one could be the internal recruiter or the company HR. And the third one would be the hiring manager, your direct in line person with whom you will actually be working if you get the job. So we have tried to basically segregate these scenarios and give you prospective answers as to how you can actually deal with it depending upon who is asking you this question. Well, headhunter or an external consultant. They are also termed as independent recruiters. This is usually from a consultant firm or a third party who has been given this task to find ideal candidate for open position. In this scenario, you can directly ask the salary limit or the budget that their particular client has. It is very important to understand here that they are not the company management and they are getting money actually to bring the right candidate for the company. So the company has already listed down its requirements and shared it with them. So they are the ones who will always know the client budget and would definitely tell you so that they don't waste their resources on talking with a, you know, talking with somebody who probably is on a higher pay or would not want to join that particular position anytime. So here you can directly ask, what is the budget or salary range of your client? Or what is that your client is offering for this particular position or role? And only if that is suitable for you, you may just go ahead with the entire interview process or may drop at the first stage itself. Moving to the next one. An internal recruiter or the company HR is also one of the people who would definitely ask you about what salary are you looking for. So HR needs to get this answer to eliminate the candidates above their budget. But hey, 
Did I tell you that the company HR also eliminates the candidates that are below the budget? Well, that is because there are some quality factors and set bars that a company has. They have certain bars and limitations set and a low salary person might not be considered very well qualified for a particular position they've been hiring for. Never answer this question directly to the internal recruiter. You never know what they have in store for you. It could be a higher range or could be a much lower range. So your answering the question directly would actually put you in the spot and can be one of the factors where you may just lose the opportunity even before getting. So some of the terms or statements that you may use in this scenario are like, I'm sure your company offers a competitive salary. My only priority at this stage is to prove my worth. Secondly, you can also say that my expectations are in line with the industry standards. This is the safest answer by far. Thirdly, you can say that my salary requirements are flexible, but I do have significant experience in the field and I believe that adds value to my candidacy. Or my candidature. There's another way of saying it very politely and that would be that I would appreciate if you could make me an offer on what you have budgeted for this role. I'm sure the salary you have in mind is consistent with the rest of the market and industry. What is the salary range that you guys are offering? So this would not put you in the spot but rather leave the entire decisioning process to the company HR and the offer that he would get for you would be actually in comparison to the market, the industry standards and in the salary range the company has already pre-decided. The third and the most important person who may ask this question is your hiring manager. Trust me, the image that is shown here says that yes i am more important than my ceo is absolute absolute true because if this person doesn't like you or approve of you forget it that you are going to get this role if he likes you then you may even get this role at a little higher salary than what they have budgeted so this man is important so your hiring manager is your direct line of contact for the job position. It is very important that this person finds you good and genuine. Be honest with this person because it is his yes or no that will get you hired or fired even before getting the offer. So before this round you can actually go about and research a bit about the role and the average salary that this particular company offers for a particular level of position. You may be using Glassdoor or any other such site. There are tons and tons of resources available these days on Google. Uh, but just to you know, uh, just to bring you to a point, you can answer this question something like below. I understand that the position similar to this one is in the pay range X to Z in our region, but with my experience, I would like to receive something in the range of Y to Z. Or you can tell him that you have researched about the position and are actually happy with XY salary that is usually offered at this level and you'd be happy to get the same as per industry standard. Now being honest with this person is very important because he's the one you will actually be working in the company with. He needs to like you for your future assignments and engagements if you're hired. So your hiring manager is actually more important than the CEO. Well, I don't have a copyright of this image. So this has been picked up from somewhere. And I would completely give the credits to the person who decided this tagline. Ending my video at a note where these answers are just guides. It is important for you to put your own words and add any extra details that are specific to you and you would like these people to know about you. It is very important for you to make 
the company, the HR feel that you actually fall in the best suited person for this particular offer. So a good and a successful company would always follow the below quote and make sure you believe in yourself before you ask the company or the HR or the hiring manager to believe in you. It doesn't make sense to hire smart people and tell them what to do. Some companies hire smart people so they can tell the companies what to do. With this, I end this video. I'm very open to your feedbacks and your next requirements. You can touch base with me on my Gmail ID or on my Facebook account or you can just like my Facebook page and we can talk through this. Do comment, do share this video, send me feedbacks. I would just love to have it from you guys. All the best and do let me know if you clear out some interview because of this. Thank you.